Hello, I'm Troy Ledford, and I'm a product manager here at Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories, and I'm here to show you an exciting new technology, the color touchscreen display, which is an available option on the SEL 751. To get started, the first application we'll take a look at today is the base screens application. Here on the base screens application, you can see a custom one-line diagram that I've created using an available software that comes with Accelerator QuickSet. In these one-line diagrams, you can create custom diagrams that have up to one breaker and five disconnect switches available in both ANSI and IEC symbol sets. The diagram can also be customized with analog and digital quantities as well as other symbols. Here on the one-line diagram, we can interact with the breaker directly by selecting the breaker on the screen. It has now prompted me to enter a password to be able to change the state of the breaker. I'm going to enter the password now. As you know, SEL recommends that you change the default passwords for security reasons. Now that I have logged into the relay, you can see the options that I am given to operate the breaker. The first is to cancel or back out of the breaker control. The next is to trip the breaker or open the breaker. The last is to close the breaker. As you can see on the display, the breaker is already in an open or tripped state. So let's close the breaker. Next, we are prompted to make sure that we want to close the breaker. And yes, we do. As you can see, the one-line diagram has been updated, showing the breaker in a closed state. Throughout the video, I will be using the home push button here. This button takes us back to the home screen with all of our various folders and applications. Next, we are going to look at the SCR application or the sequential event recorder. In the SCR, you can log up to 1,024 items. These items can be customized by the user. As you can see, we can scroll through the various SCR log items. At the top of our list here, you can see the close command was issued to close the breaker and the 52A contact was asserted, showing that the breaker was closed. To clear the SCR, simply press the trash can icon here and verify that you would like to clear the SCR. The next application that we are going to look at is the Relay Word Bits application, which can be found in the Monitor folder under the Relay Word Bits application. Here, we can search for various Relay Word Bits. Let's search for that same 52A contact that we just saw logged in the SCR. As you can see from the search, the 52A is in a one or asserted state, showing that the breaker is in a closed state. Lastly, we'll take a look at the phasers application, which is available under the meter folder under the phasers application. In the phasers application, you can see the voltages and currents along with their magnitudes and angles. For analysis, you can pause the phaser values, or for real-time values, you can press the play button on the phaser diagram. Those are just some of the exciting features available on the optional color touchscreen display on the SEL 751. To find out more, visit selink.com. Thanks for joining us today.